Okay, welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be putting together a very simple build. This is a basic crafting salvager. So at the moment <clears throat> I've put down a little station and then uh, this is all in single player. So what I've done is I've given myself a full shop and I'm taking one of each block and then I'm going to use the give slot command as I've just done. 10,000 I think I used. And uh, then we're going to start building this salvager. So we'll start off with a basic frame where I want the uh, cabin to be and then put in a bunch of power lines. I've extended the XYZ boxes. As you can see, I'm kind of letting each line be as wide as the rest and then making them all as tall as the rest, which gives you um, a box dimension of the entire interior. OK, and then we're going to stick down a few a load of power and some thrust at the back. I know people use the thruster plumes mod, so I wanted them to be visual at the back. So you can actually see the plumes sticking out the back if someone's bothered to use that mod. Um, <clears throat> I wanted some really, really basic detailing on this ship. So very, very bland. Um, I wanted to only use grills and basic grey hull. The idea being to make this ship actually easy to craft. As it turned out, the docking modules and the cannon slave, I ended up removing in a later version to make it even easier to craft. So as you can see now, we're uh, finishing off the bottom docks. They were intended for use with those little radar docking units um, <clears throat> or other shuttles and sort of runabouts. So now making the front face of the main salvage array. So that's the pattern that I'm going to use. And I moved the symmetry point to the middle of that so that when I'm creating this, it takes less time. I also took the time, as you see, to put the cannons in between each row and went back and relinked each time, <laughs> which I didn't need to do. But I guess I was just in the mood to mess about. Um, obviously, when we come to removing these later, it's just a simple one click with the remove replace filter. OK, so like I say, the uh, AMC system, which I'm now putting in, there was actually a cannon system in there as well. Uh, that's been removed and replaced with additional salvage arrays. But like I say, um, you can craft this in under an hour on, the, on your own, this ship. Um, all you need to do is have a decent factory which takes about an hour to set up itself from scratch. And there's going to be further tutorials on what to think about with factories and things like that. Because that's actually why I started my channel was originally to do factory tutorials, but there's been no industry for a very long time. So now putting in a little bit of detailing and the roof. I wanted to, to leave some space visible, so we just used grills. Could have used glass, as it turns out. Glass is actually pretty cheap. It's only made using grills, but again, trying to be strict about keeping the ship basic, very basic detailing and wedging, because um, I figure people are going to customize these. Um, they might just build block and rebuild, or um, they might augment this thing and keep it going. So originally those eyes that you see at the front face were actually the outputs of the cannon system, which was later removed. <laughs> But I didn't remove the front because it looked cool. Um, so now starting to put some of the uh, grills in. And now I'm pretty much just trying to give it a little bit of a cleaner look. So a few, few tetras here and there, a few penters, just to smooth off some hard edges and corners. And... Um, a few lighting tricks, I think, using the power tanks, because you get a nice green glow for free off the power tanks. So I ended up replacing the red lights, which you'll see me putting in, which was my original idea, um, with power tanks, which is why it has that sort of green glow everywhere. OK. Of course, the docking system at the back means with the cam bot there, for example, if I'm in the core, I just press down and I'm in the back and I can undock and leave. So, you know, uh, it's quite a useful tactic because I believe pirates won't attack your ship if there's no one in it. So if you, <laughs> if you just sort of bail and get popped in your escape pod, you can actually get back to your ship if you remember where it was. 
don't know if that behavior will change, but it's certainly something people used to do. So just putting a few wedges in, uh, completing off the interior pillar style. I wanted to have like a computer screen at the end there, but at the moment it's too red, so I haven't even bothered. Um, giving it insert wedging is a nice pattern. And yeah, as you can see, the camera is actually quite a high level thing. So there's no camera, but you can still fly and do everything you need to do. I actually tend to mine in uh, double shift, which is the mode you're looking at right now. So you hit double tap shift and it'll lock your steering and only give you strafe up, down, forward, back. And that's how I do all of these shots here. So we're going to take it through a little bit of a miney mine. So that's one asteroid. I've done one asteroid. I'm going to do another one. So that's two. Because I can't remember how many asteroids I actually mined for this test. And the mining multiplier is even higher on the server now. Because it was actually set wrong to four. So it might even, yeah, it's even more than it was on first day. So here we go. Mining, mining, mining. The asteroid number three. And like I say, I just sort of go left to right, left to right while in this this view, and it's quite effective. Um, I think this is the point where I decided to take the cannons out to save on expense in crafting. So that's done. And then, yeah, yeah, replacing all of those. Okay, and that's the loot that I got from those three asteroids. And we actually have a higher setting for mining, mining multiplier. So if you own the system, you know, expect like 5,000 plus uh, resources from every asteroid. Which, of course, converts to like, what is that? 50,000? I don't know. You'll see, it's a lot. It's enough to make more ships than you thought you'd be able to in the same space of time. So off we go, continuing the mine. Don't know if I remember. Did I take off the... Uh, a yeah, I think I took the cannons off now. <laughs> Flying around with an Enterprise. So off I go. Oh, look, there's something on the back. Looks like we were all mining quite a bit that night. <laughs> And so, yeah, obviously the uh, logic I've connected with C, I've pressed C on the salvage computer and then pushed V on the storage block. And that means that all of the resources that I mine go into that storage block rather than my inventory and sort of jamming up all my slots. And as you can see, this thing really works. And yeah, I've sped up the footage, but you can see it's not like I'm just sitting there drilling one block for ages. Oh, I think I've got a stowaway. <laughs> and uh yeah distance from star different resource that's how the uh that's how that is done so like i say three docks on the bottom were removed from the final blueprint but we advise you to stick them under there because the space is perfect for it it's a nice sheltered position for your radar dish and or turret small turret at least uh, and so, yeah, that's the storage in the main area there. And as you can see, a whole bunch of resources have been collected. Additionally, all of that rock as well that can be carved for construction or trade. So there it is, the Crafty Salvager RC6. I've been giving them away on the server to new players. Um, just ask an admin and they'll happily spawn you one in if you've got no ship or if you've just started on the server. It should give you an interesting leg up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to tell you about it. So there'll be a download link in the description and uh, remember it is a basic ship. So next episode, stuff and things on this planet. See you next time.